Welcome back guys to the R8 Dream, but actually we're not doing the R8 today. We're still waiting on some parts. You guys know that we got the Audi R8 in the last video. That's actually me getting the R8 a month ago and uh, there's a lot I need to catch you guys up on. I've been ordering parts for this car for a minute now. If you guys actually come over here. As you guys can see, we got a bunch of parts for the Audi R8 and a bunch of the crush parts too. So we have a couple things that were damaged here that came in the passenger seat and there was a couple things uh, that we got ordered like this beautiful grill and a couple other things. We're just still waiting on so much stuff to actually get the R8 on the road. Um, but that being said, I still am missing the major components to actually get this thing like the primary steps to begin. And I'm still waiting for that stuff to come either from Germany or from wherever it may be. Getting parts from an exotic car or just cars that are, weren't like mass produced um, is very, very, very hard because the parts are either discontinued or no one's selling it on eBay and you're just kind of like scavenging through Facebook, offer up, hitting up a bunch of dismantlers to see if they just got one in. Um, so that's where we are with the R8. But while we wait for things to come in on that, uh, I know a lot of you guys are uh, hitting me up actually because um, we did the whole RIP for the Nissan Titan. A lot of you guys were like, so what's the plan for the Nissan Titan? I was gonna fix it then, uh, you know, it's just that truck had, um, you know, ongoing issues with the engine and I just didn't want to honestly risk anything else because it was an older truck. I didn't really want to risk possibly a bad transmission after an engine swap or possibly a bad rear differential. Everything was good when I sold it. Everything was good when I was driving it. When the engine went out, it was just kind of very unexpected that to me, I couldn't really trust the truck anymore after, of course, the circumstances that, you know, we were kind of stuck on the road for eight hours and that truck just did us dirty in the end. It did us really good over the years. You got a lot of great builds. You got a couple of my brothers actually builds on that truck. So, uh, it's actually an Armada passing us right now. You know, Nissan Titan, Nissan Armada is good stuff. But uh, anywho, that truck did us good. I absolutely love that truck. Um, but we got another truck. We got another truck and uh, I'm not gonna lie. So we sold, we still sold the Nissan Titan because I want to be as transparent with you guys as possible. We sold the Nissan Titan for $4,500. Um, the only reason we even got that amount of money for a blown engine Nissan Titan is because of the rough country stuff we had on there. Um, so at least we got something out of it. And then I decided to pick up, uh, we're gonna get a Tundra, like a 2007 Tundra. Those are like 12 grand for like a super old 200,000 mile Tundra. But then you know, nor, nor, I want to try new things. We had a, we had a Ford F-150 FX4 um, and it was an amazing truck, but it was the EcoBoost had turbo issues, so we decided to get something a little different, a little different. And um, that's this bad boy right over here. We got an F-150. What, what, what is that? <laughs> this bad boy right over here is an F-150 Platinum, which is super sick. It is probably like, I think the top tier F-150 you can get. And this one actually has every single package from all the other higher trim models. It has the interior, I'll show you guys in a little bit, of like basically a King Ranch. Um, it also has the, the, the towing package and the off-roading package of an FX4 and it has the body of a platinum, and we got it for 11.5, basically. 11.7, and then after tax and everything. We're not gonna get to all those numbers, but we got it for 11 selling is the selling price. Clean title, the mileage is kinda high, but I mean, every truck for this kind of budget is kinda high, so we'll it show tows. you guys. It, it tows, it, it definitely tows. tows, it runs and drives amazing. Uh, zero lights on the dash, past smog obviously, it was from a dealer. We'll show you guys that in a little bit. Um, so before I kind of get off topic, the R8, we're still waiting on some things to come in. I cannot wait, guys, to start driving my dream car. This thing is just so beautiful. I'm so happy the only damage is literally in the front, guys. This thing's a running drive. Little damage as it is, it's still unfortunately so hard to get on the road. Again, soon, 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 hopefully this thing will be on the road. Meantime, meantime, uh, other news, uh, which is the topic of today's video, is gonna be the E91 M3. Behind the camera there is my brother. He's here to help me, so I figured um, he's just gonna start helping us honestly wrap the E91 M3. I wanna get this thing on the road. I wanna make it look good. I wanna get all the inspections done. Um, but as of right now, it's it's pretty much a cop magnet because it looks like, I mean, obviously it's not even registered or anything like that. It just, yeah, cops gonna look at this and be like, wow, this car is definitely not like a rainbow. Yeah, so um, also we were actually driving here earlier today and we saw a smog, what is it called? Smog stop. Smog stop. They're pulling people over that modified cars to do a smog in the middle of the road. Legally, you don't have to stop. Legally, you don't have to get out of the car. Legally, you don't have to do it, but they're gonna pressure you until you do. So, uh, long story short, California's really cracking down, and um, I really wanna get this thing wrapped up so we can put the headliner in it. We need to wrap the roof um, uh, in order to reinstall these bad boys to actually reinstall the sun, I mean, the, the headliner. So much things, I could be all over the place. So without further ado, uh, before actually getting to the E91 M3 and start wrapping this, and we're postponing on the all right for just a little bit longer till we get some parts, I wanna show you guys Freddy. <laughs> you wanna show us Freddy? All right. This dude just moved. This is our, my outdoor cat, basically. He's just, you guys will see him in every video. He's not my cat. Oh, he you gotta give him food now. I have to give him, he's literally staying at the door right now waiting for food. Let's let's see if we can, we can get him. Yeah, I mean. Is he just standing there? He just always, he just, yeah. 
<laughs> Ready. So yeah, that, if you guys don't want uh, your your own outdoor cat, don't feed him every day. You know, I feel bad. I have to feed him. Like it, it, I just feel like it's my responsibility. But Sandy, let's show you guys the platinum that we just ended up picking up. Our new tow rig. This thing is a fancy tow rig. So this right here is a 2010 F-150 platinum with again every single feature you guys could ever imagine. First things first, we're starting off with the LED platinum headlights. These things look so good, and that's OEM. Right next to that, we have the beautiful platinum grill. This only comes on the platinum trim models. We have a paint match bumper. That also only comes on the platinum models. Makes it look a lot more luxurious. Makes it all look one color. It looks super good. Come around to the side. We have the beautiful 19 inch F-150 wheels. These look super nice. This is on stock suspension, which I really, really, really prefer mainly because for towing, when you get a flat, I mean, getting a tire for uh, a lifted truck is such a pain. Um, we'll be able to get tires for this on worst comes to worst situations quite easily. If you guys look on the side right now, you guys can see the platinum F-150 uh, like trim level right here on the sides the chrome i think it looks super sick we got the fx4 tow package mirrors um on a platinum which is kind of crazy so this bad boy coming on over here has the dual mirrors so you guys actually have your normal mirror and then for the your trailer and just backing up and stuff like that i love that coming around to the back this is also a 4x4 model which is super sick again every option you could possibly have um platinum i love the rear platinum bed i think it looks super aggressive super clean has a trailer hitch and all that good stuff we got sensors right over here um i don't even know what this is uh yeah we'll, we'll figure out what that is a little bit here later we got all the plugs and outlets you need for a trailer opening up the bed we got the spray in bed liner and then this piece this is quite cool i'm not gonna lie then we got the little uh i guess the the bed step or something it's pretty cool i'm not gonna lie this yeah hey, bro try that try that out real quick come up here uh, my fat ass is gonna break it imagine <laughs> that's pretty sick though huh no, so like cool. you don't even have to like struggle to get on or actually step off you just kind of grab it come back down i think it handles up to like 300 pounds or something and then coming around to the interior um i mean guys it's already amazing on the exterior coming around to the interior look what happens when i open up the doors Sheesh. <laughs> Sheesh. it has a, it has a stepping like whatever it's called that just comes up when you open the door we have the beautiful brown leather with the real wood right over here um this is the platinum trim but it's also if you guys look at the rear look how sick it looks back here you have like the brown stitch seating. It has the platinum on the seats right up there as well. Um, it just looks super clean and very well taken care of. Coming around to the front, uh, you do have a little of imperfections right over here. We got the platinum badging, the seat over here, beautiful brown leather. This is leather and cooling, which is super sick. And actually the rears are also heated, which is pretty awesome. I've never actually seen a truck with reheated seats as well. This thing has like the platinum gauges and everything. It just has a lot of things that really makes this truck, you know, stand out. Oh yeah, we can't really forget about the Sony sound system as well. Well, that is pretty cool. Again, very decked out. It has backup camera. It has, uh, again, heated and cooling in the front. It has every little bell and whistle. And fingers crossed this truck lasts us because this bad boy has 230,000 miles, um, but it was maintained at the dealer every 3,000 miles. I literally have like a stack this big on the Carfax. Kind of insane. Only reason I bought it, and I figured if I'm gonna have to replace an engine on a truck, I'd rather do it on a truck that looks this awesome. So you guys let me know down below, did I make a right decision buying this truck for $11,700? I think I did. It's a clean title. And it's just been immaculately maintained, guys. I think it looks absolutely stunning. I mean, <laughs> just check that out. That looks crazy. So anyways, at this point, let's just go ahead, get to the E91. We got a lot of wrapping we need to get done on this bad boy because it's not looking too good right now. So first things first, we want to do the roof because uh, we got black uh, t pretty much wrapped for the roof. I was going to do it all one color, but I honestly love how a car looks with a black roof, especially if we do a black spoiler, black roof. It just adds some aggression to the car um, with our black. Uh, I know some of you guys told me to replace these with the uh, M Sport ones. Guys, they're like 500 bucks uh, from the dealer, like 600 bucks. I don't know, it's 330 each. It's almost like 700 bucks after tax from the dealer, and that's with my discount. So. I don't find this is like a bare necessity right now. We're just gonna go ahead and rock these for now. I think they look really good. I'm happy they're in black. And then eventually when I get when I find an M Sport part out, I'll go cop the M Sport ones. But in the meantime, they are black, they'll look good. Gloss black roof, it's gonna look really sick. Anyways, before I actually lay down the wrap, if we try to put the wrap with this here right here, as you guys can see, this is like pretty destroyed. Um, if we try putting the wrap on this, it's gonna, it's gonna end up peeling up. So I think the goal is we're gonna try to remove all this gunk um, and we're actually replace the window seal. Um, so let's go ahead and remove all this gunk clean the whole roof, uh, clay bar the whole thing, remove these uh, these these bars right here, it's like held on by three screws, and then we can actually start detailing this roof and just start wrapping it. I mean, hopefully, hopefully it's not gonna be too bad. This is the largest roof I've ever wrapped.
after about two years worth of work, as you guys can see, the roof is black. I mean, <laughs> honestly, it didn't look like we did much work because black doesn't really have a huge contrast on the current situation of this build. But we finally got the, the rear spoiler in black. This was originally white. Uh, the whole roof was gray, so now it's gloss black. We even removed these roof rails to wrap this in gloss black. So now we can actually assemble the headliner and everything else. I'm not obviously gonna do that right now. I wanna wrap the entire car first before we actually do any of the reassembly of the interior. But this is some really exciting stuff, mainly because we're super close to getting this thing fully wrapped up. To getting the exterior fully wrapped up and the interior fully wrapped up, which is uh, some pretty exciting stuff. We also wrapped the shark fin, got that stuff mounted. So yeah, the entire roof Roof is pretty much sorted every single part including the spoiler so at this point we're gonna start doing uh, the colored wrap and uh, let me show you guys what I went with I mean again this is version number one eventually we do the line mark orange but for version number one I'll show you guys what we got. Yes, guys, we went with kind of a bold color. This is actually a color that most of you guys probably know. Um, it's called Dragonfire Red. So this is a very, very, very well-known color um, in the BMW community because it comes out really sick on the E90X chassis. And I've never done red, personally. I've always done blue. Um, and it's like my favorite color for BMWs. I just think BMWs in blue look so good. Uh, but considering that we're already gonna do orange, it's kind of like the other completely different kind of color scheme. I want to do something in between, I think, red is the right choice for this so yeah guys we're actually wrapping the e91 m3 in red it's gonna look super sick i'm gonna go ahead and slap it on this bad boy right here so let's go ahead and fully convert our front end um, to red as, at least as much as we can So right now we're actually prepping the hood like we do with all panels before actually wrapping it um, and we tried to make it as clean as possible even use the clay bar but we noticed using this 3m wrap it's very 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 thin vinyl but at the same time even though it's thin the air release for some reason on this 1080 series was just very 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 bad especially on this hood i'm assuming because it's metal and i'm assuming because it's cold um the air release was just really 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 bad but it left a lot of imperfections on the hood um so we might end up rewrapping this hood um but in the meantime i wanted to wrap the rest of the car to see if it's gonna even hold up uh, we did end up starting the fenders next and the fenders came out a lot easier and I'm assuming that's because it's plastic so just a little tip for you guys don't wrap in the cold and if you're gonna be wrapping in the cold don't use 3m especially the 1080 series it did not work good for me so guys, after wrapping both fenders and the hood, I'm gonna say I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be biased anymore. That's it. Like every wrap has their perfections and their imperfections. When I noticed with 3M on the edges, it's amazing because it's thinner vinyl. Um, but unfortunately, when it comes to laying it down on metals, especially the 1080 series, which I believe is a first generation, it is really, really, really hard for the wrap to stick to the uh, to the paint uh, without squeegeeing back and forth, back and forth, and scratching the wrap. So that is something we noticed. It's not gonna come out absolutely perfect, unfortunately, um, but it's coming out pretty good. I love how it seals up the edges. I know with 3M, it's not gonna peel up, so that's a positive about 3M, but we do have a lot of imperfections, especially when it comes to the hood, unfortunately. So uh, yeah. Without further ado, we knocked out two fenders, we knocked out the hood, we knocked out these vents over here. We actually knocked out this little section right here and inserted the vent. Um, the pieces that actually go right here, the side markers, I'm gonna actually paint those black. Even though they're chrome, I'm gonna try to paint them black. If they don't come out good, I'll probably wrap it in black. If that doesn't come out good, we'll order them in black. But um, I definitely want it in black. Chrome and red doesn't look good together. <laughs> Have you seen, the, look, at, look at it right here, bro. This looks so yeah. bad. I even want to get a new badge because of how bad, like chrome just stands out there, with there red. Are, there are like different badges, right? You can yeah, there, I mean, there is some companies, I think Thick Whips um, has a company he goes through and they make the entire bezel black and even the badge itself, like these are like, it's like a it's like a silver, not a chrome. No. So it looks a lot better. So probably gonna reach out to Thick Whips, see if we can get our hands on some of those bad boys. But anywho, we knocked out the fenders, knocked out the hood, we knocked out the whole roof, the spoiler, Let's go ahead and knock out the doors. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Let's be sick.
So after about four hours of isolation, guys, we got both doors knocked out and uh, the door, actually, it hasn't been four hours. I'd say about maybe two hours, an hour a door. We got the door handles done as well. So it looks so good. Normally I actually go with black handles, but I think with this color, I really want to go with red door handles. We have already black accents. Um, the mirrors, we're going to do it in red, mainly because uh, the M3 mirrors already come in gloss black half of it. So this piece in red will be a really nice accent piece. But yeah, guys, this is looking <laughs> so sick. I cannot wait for this full car to be one color. Um, so as of right now, we knocked out these two doors. I want to knock out the other two doors. Uh, so without further ado, time-lapse mode once again. Again, we're just trying to knock out some stuff and we'll show you guys the finished product. And just like that, guys, we are at the end of the video with the E91 M3. That is looking so much better. I cannot wait for that thing to be fully color match. It's gonna look so, so, so good. And also, the Platinum is just looking better than ever. And having this new truck right here is just so, so, so nice. I'm actually doing a lot of things with that truck for the new business that we're starting up, and also just, just things around the house as well. I absolutely love having a truck, living without a truck for about a month. And like I said, guys, you guys saw the R8 pretty much a month after I got it. So I, I was been an entire month of me not getting a truck and I got this truck like literally a week ago or a couple days ago so um yeah super happy that I finally have a truck again I absolutely love this truck and I got it for an absolute killer deal I love getting good deals on cars most in particular though this f-150 I didn't really get it for like a steal of a deal in terms of market value it was actually at market value but because of the high mileage I got it significantly discounted this truck right here the platinum with all the packages that it has um they're going for like roughly thirty thousand dollars um with like super low mileage we're talking like fifty thousand miles but because this one has 230,000 miles, I got it for instead of $30,000 used, I got it for $11,000 used, which I think is just a better bang for your buck because worst comes to worst, these engines are going for like three grand. Like why would I pay 30 for a low mileage one? Especially considering that we'll be able to just do the swap ourselves for worst comes to worst situations. So we got a heavily discounted F-150 Platinum. It just looks so, so, so good. And I cannot wait to be towing the R8 and some other sick builds, even E91 M3 to some special events with this thing. But without further ado guys, it is gonna have to conclude this video hopefully the next video is gonna be us fully wrapping together we actually have to do a lot of body work but hopefully fully wrapping together the e91 m3 if you guys are excited to see this thing fully transformed make sure to smash the like button as soon as i get more parts for the r8 hopefully we'll have another episode for the r8 but in the meantime we're all waiting not just you guys me as well so without further ado i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see y'all in the next one peace out